guys, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Celebrations. So we moved here, and the AI just switched to defense mode? Question mark, uh, hashtag why. Anyways, that's the big strategy for our great leader. And if you're watching the live feed, sorry, I just kind of repeated myself. But now that we're here, I mean, it's safe to do this. So yeah, screw you, Giant Red Sea Snake. Change this. How about this? Ha! on this map is move fiend cracking here because now she's free to summon shaman yashi in this area so that is a problem but not one that can be augmented so here's the game plan number one i could just kill her which i may do little dragon attack Furious Seeking. Okay. I guess that couldn't beat me technically, but, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, with that being done, Metal Dragon is now swamped. Hmm. Okay. From here. Alright. I didn't want to do this, but... Turtle Raccoon. Use teleports. There we go. And now what we need to do, unfortunately, we need to get rid of Made of the Aqua to kill this. Very unfortunate, I know. Oh, no, wait. No, we don't. I can kill Turtle Raccoon. All right, guys. Figured it out. We're still good. We're still good, guys. So, all I have to do is play Akihiron on top, and your Akihiron dies. You die. Actually... I'm going to play Furious Sea King just to insult you. How about that? 100 more, Deck Master K. 100 more. One more thing. Jack A. Jack A. Ma Jade. Magic must defeat magic. One more thing. How about that? How about that, son? <gasps> And now, Fiend Cracking can move here. Alright, your turn. <sighs> yeah, you better summon mine, you Fuse. Psych. Yeah, you better put that in defense mode. Alright, so now I know when I'm chasing her, I kind of need to put a card here, or, well, better yet, I can just put a card away well, if she moves here. And I need to move. Interesting. I actually need to put a card here. Actually, if I move here, she may move back. Yeah, I'm gonna put a card here. What do I have? Bam. I was hoping I'd get another main on the aqua, but I'm gonna move here, just in case, because I don't want her to get a quick kill, so. Alrighty, your turn. What do you got? I think she moved forward. Oh no, she moved back. Interesting. Yeah, either way, we have her pretty well trapped. I mean, only 13 cards left in her deck. Not a good situation. Not a good situation. So basically, I'm going to keep chasing her back and forth like this. Um, I think what I'm going to do eventually... In fact, right now, let's see. Yeah, okay. What I'm going to do pretty quickly here is either replace Metal Dragon by summoning on top of it. Or... Uh, yeah, because we don't want to lose via life uh, or lose, period. But, uh, yeah, we'll move two here, and we'll move Fiend Crack in here. And that 
should be good. Yeah. She's backing it up. Okay, well that's that's bittersweet. I kind of low on life points, which I don't want to be with the turn count the way it is, but at the same time, we should be okay. We're down to 650. Hmm. in the corner, so that's good, and she's just going to stay there, but what she doesn't know is I'm going to move here, so I'm going to hop here on, or Flying Penguin, <laughs> Flying Penguin can kill this, but now I'll play Aki here on, it's our strongest card, and we will attack, there we go, and with that, we should have the situation locked up as far as running out the turns. And this is still tutorial stuff, so I kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, how you do this. Well, basically, Bean Kraken's going to guard the line right here. If she moves here, we move here, you know, if she moves back, we move back. Like, you should start to see her get into, like, a cycle, so to speak, of her feed. Yeah, and just, like, kill her own cards. Until she has no cards, basically. So... I mean, especially now that I have Akihiran right here. The cycle is going to continue until she plays Tears of the Mermaid. And then after that, I'll explain how things are going to work. But for the most part, I think we got this. And basically, we want to continue using the turns. Because that only helps us just, uh, you know as far as pace goes. So we have a good pace. Yeah. And I'm going to start checking what card she's running over. Because she's only playing one card at a time. So I'm not too worried. But really, as long as she plays a monster, yes, yeah, that was like a year on her. And there's three guys you're using in the graveyard. And we only killed like one. Which means she's been running over Kairiushin, like, every time, which is weird, but... Basically, we went her, her summoning level to be tanked. You know what I mean? Oh, and now she's summoning right there. Okay, okay. Ma ah, okay. We don't want this on the field, so let's kill that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Only we are allowed to power up our Aqua Monsters. Alright, and we'll move Sea King right in front. It should still be good here. It should still have this. And that was a level 4 summoning, so... Uh, can Sea King get this? No, I don't want Sea King. Wait, wait, do I want Sea King? Yeah, let's have Sea King get this. Yeah, 21. Perfect. And so, you see, we could go for a checkmate here, but we don't want that. We want to keep running out the turn, so we beam crack him so that she's not checkmated, and then we just continue the process. So, basically, she's going to summon a card each turn, like right here, or... I actually have Sea King in the wrong spot. Sea King needs to hold here, and then... But, anyway. Uh, so, I'll move Sea King out, or I just really need to power up Sea King. But yeah, that's basically the strategy, is just check her graveyard. As long as she keeps playing monsters for us to kill, that's good, because we want to kill monsters, because that also boosts levels, so... Nice, another man in the aqua. And the higher the stream of the monster you kill, the more experience points you get. So, for example, after this duel, you know, we keep doing this back and forth, back and forth. Aki Hiron should level up pretty damn high, you know. Well, um, we'll move King right here. And that right there. Alright. Alright, guys. So, it looks like we have her in the right setup. 
so we got Turtle Raccoon. She couldn't even use its effect because all the summoning zones are taken. Ha <laughs> ha! But it looks like we have her in the right pattern. We just have to not screw up and accidentally checkmate her. The only potential hope for her, I think, is to play Tears of the Mermaid again and then kill Furious Sea King. That would slow things down a little bit, but I don't think it would slow things down enough to, you know, just outright end this. So, I, I suppose if she fused for Aqua Dragon, though, and gave it a power up. She could take the rest of our life points in one shot, but, I mean, come on, what are the odds of that? The biggest thing for me to do here is to not let the trap Tears of the Mermaid work on Fury Seeking. You don't want that, because then she can definitely take it out and win, because we only have 650 life points. That's the thing about the life points. Yeah, I shouldn't have let my life points get this low to run out the turns, but, you know, I did, so... And this is the hardest part, is not necessarily running out the turns, but letting her summon each turn, getting rid of all the cards in her deck. Now, sometimes it'll be easier than others, because she'll basically fuse and fuse and fuse. And you know what? Let's change this to defense mode. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but I probably should have changed that to defense mode a while ago. That'll save us from the miracle one-shot, so to speak. But yeah, yeah, just keep moving your cards in and out of the summoning area. Allow her to summon, but then just keep killing her stuff, so... Uh, we're gonna check to see how many cards she has in her deck at this point. And then I will check with you guys. How many cards does she have? Oh, one! Okay. So, this is good. This is good. I'm gonna, I, I thought about canceling the phone recording right here, but we're gonna keep you guys with me. Okay, so... Now that she has only one card in her deck, I'm gonna change the live feed back around. There we go, heck yeah. Alright, you guys ready? This should be pretty awesome. Alright, second cap on it. Capital G. Alright, and we'll move. And see, this is what happens when you have no cards left in your deck. I haven't shown this either, but you see, you don't draw any cards, and now you're only stuck with, what, three or four cards? And you gotta win with that? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is tough noodles. Tough noodles, man. And that's Amiibo's effect. I think I've explained Amiibo's effect. But yeah, if it's destroyed, it does the same thing as Kairushin. Pretty good overall because the AI is so aggressive. But yeah, down to three cards. And guys, this will be pretty easy to explain. But oh, there it is. Okay, okay. Alright. Now we gotta pay attention because Aki runs traps. So she may react differently here. Um, yeah. Okay. Down to 2,600. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see what she's gonna do. Does she have a miracle card? No. I thought she might. Like, if there's a high level card she could summon, I thought she might be able to, you know, kind of pull that out. But what we're gonna do this time is actually just let Aki here on heal. And we'll have let, let Akihiro on attack. Because it still has 2,600. Pretty good. So, and it uh, should be Aqua Force, a magic card, or I have Truth. I have Truth, yeah. Doesn't really help her. Well, I guess it does in this situation, but it doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't really help her. So, alrighty. And the last card. Not strong enough to take on Fury Seeking. The last card he I mentioned card. And that should be Aqua Force. So there we go, guys. And now she has nothing to summon. So I can put Fiend Crack in here and put this in defense. She has nothing to summon. She has nothing to do. So at this point, guys, I'm going to actually end the cell phone video. Because as you see, she's just going to skip her turn. Like, we can change this to defense. We can change this. And that's basically all she's going to do is skip her turn. Well, check her leader and skip her turn because she can't really do anything. You know what I mean? So, this is pretty boring. I mean, I, I can I keep this in? Oh, sure, I'll keep this in, because I've never run out of turns. Yeah, 55, 54, 54, oh man, this is going to take a while. Uh, 
I guess I'll keep mashing the start button, but I mean, this is a tutorial on how to run out turns, so hey, like Green Jaw says, grind, 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 now grind, and Terra. This is like really, really boring. I mean, I should have a story, so have you guys ever heard of a, you know, like an old cassette player? Um, I've actually owned one before. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool, man. Uh, man, I used to have some cool, like, Michael Jackson records and, like, all kinds of stuff. And somebody stole them, obviously, and the Terminators. And it's just like, man, I used to have some cool stuff, man. I remember back in the day, taking it to the club and DJing, you know what I'm saying? Like, that used to be my livelihood. And then, well, you know, I kind of just... What can I say? I got old and, you know, my stuff got stolen. That kind of injured DJ career right there. I mean, yeah, you still got the reputation. I mean, that equipment cost me some serious bank, bro. You know what I mean? Like some money, some dollars. So, yeah, I mean, just having that ripped away from you like that. Ah, man. I never did figure out to get that, but that's just... I mean, come on. Really, man? But I'll tell you what. One thing I can do... Is start to move main up the aqua all the way over and let it get the kill shot. <laughs> you know, the final blow, because that will help the ranking. So, that will make this a little less boring. It'll also be a little more time consuming, unfortunately. But, I think it's the right thing to do. Let main up the aqua herself get the kill shot. Because I'm basically, the, once I get down to the last turn, turn zero, I'm gonna kill her. You know, it's just, just the way I roll, man. So, yeah. Up two, down two, upset play. And yeah, definitely move her here. And then I'll turn her back to defense mode because I think her using the perk. Also, if you have a monster that has a nature effect and you have it like keep maturing that effect, so to speak. Basically, if you keep the effect on, I think you may get experience points for that. I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure, because I remember uh, one of the best nature effects, well, I showed you guys in, like, the second tutorial episode, right? Because I fused for that one monster, Pump King, the, uh, the king of thumbnails, I mean, ghosts. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so anyway, each effect, each turn, right, Pump King is like, pomp, 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 it up. And he's using his effect over and over and over and over and, I don't know, maybe his nature effects works, works differently than others, but I seem to remember, especially when I was little, that, like, leveling up Pump King to second lieutenant, it seemed to go by pretty quickly. You know, to get him from second lieutenant to first lieutenant. And, uh, oh, spoilers, that will be the new ranking, probably, after this episode. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep pressing start, and, and my thumb's getting a little tired. Let me switch to my pinky for the start. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, sorry if I miss it, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's just, and Ace Ventura, anyone? No! number 14 stuff. Well, there's actually a really old game <laughs> I used to play. It's called ESPN uh, like NBA 2K5 and uh, yeah, that game came out on the PlayStation 2 um, and this was like, dude, this was when I was like 19 hey, anyway, anyway. it came out a long time ago and uh, yeah, um, you could create like your own custom player on that and of course that's that's the funnest part of the game, right? Yeah, you create your own player, and then yada yada yada. Well, anyway, for some reason, I put my name Joshua Jones, and I thought the announcers would, like, say my name when I make it right. I mean, because there has to be a guy named Joshua in the NBA, right? It, all right? And I thought they would say, at least say, like, Jones or something, like, when I made the, a shot or a dunk. But no, they would just say, number Four team, and we're finally at turn zero. So how should I kill her? Should I should, should, should I should I do it? Should I do it? You know what? No, we're doing a turn count tutorial, so I'm not gonna let Maynard the Aqua get the turn count. 
but I am gonna let it get the check made. So we'll do that, we'll do that, and we'll do. Ooh, I screwed it up. I need to move up and on like, I don't know, I screwed that up. But there, we still got the check made. And just to just just to add insult to injury, just to, just to, there. And uh, yeah, so that is the turn count tutorial, and this should end the game, guys. And we, I think we lose actually. Yeah. Okay. So, but I think we still get all the experience, so that's good. Yeah. Green Kraken's promoted. Akihiran's promoted. Might not be Akihiran's promoted. And yeah. So since our life points were lower, I wanted to check that too. Since our points were lower than the AIs, we lost, and the turns ran out. See, I needed to know that. I thought that's how it would work. But yeah, anyway, guys, this has been the turn count tutorial special. My flood, flood, M, A, A, Mon, Flood Mon 14. And now, to show you guys why we basically wasted the last five minutes of this episode, well, check this out. Mayna Biakwa is now one lieutenant, aka it's leveled up. Aki Hiran is now second lieutenant, due to all the battles at one. And uh, yeah, as you see, this Mayna Biakwa became second, well, first lieutenant, and all of these become the same rank. As you see, the ranking is right there. Uh, also, some rankings will unlock leader abilities. Um, I'll go over that in a different episode. But uh, yeah, and also being Kraken. Uh, became a second lieutenant, so that's cool. Uh, one of these probably would have ascended further if I let them get the kill shot, but I wanted to do the turn count tutorial completely of turn count. Right? I, I didn't want to cheese it. I didn't want to... I mean, I, I probably should have won there. I could have easily won if I wanted to, but I wanted to see exactly what would happen if I ran out all the turns. And with that, guys... Now, that's the end of our, us doing custom duel. Because at this point of the challenge, due to the rules I've set, we're not allowed to custom duel anymore. So you may be saying, well, why did you custom duel in the first place? Well, to get our rank to one lieutenant, just like it is, and we'll return to the title screen now, and I'll be able to explain. So see, in the ranking challenge, we couldn't take on the first opponent, Weevil. And let's hit continue here. And we, we weren't allowed to do it because we were only one lieutenant. Well, now we're second lieutenant. Whoa, wait, we were, I think the default second lieutenant, yeah. But now that we're one lieutenant, we are allowed to take on Weevil. And because we can now duel the opponents in uh, story mode, um, the challenge will now um, commence in the story mode. And basically, custom duels are now locked. I can't do any more custom duels according to the rules of the challenge. So, let me just put some really bad cards in my deck really quick. We're not actually going to do this duel, but I just want to show you guys really quick, like, oh, so that's why he did it, and now I can take on, you know, Weaver or whatever. So, put in a couple Zerigon, a couple Twin, a couple Majerus, kind of Kabuto, and that should be low enough. Basically, what I just did is tank. Uh, my debt cost. I basically lowered it, I think, enough to where I couldn't fight Weevil. Um, what time are we at? 24 minutes? Okay, good. Okay, well, anyway, I should be able to show you guys this really quickly. And yeah, 8.54, good. So you watch your girls of us. We're facing my integrity. I am Beavis. Oh, yeah. Yes, and basically what I had to do to even uh, initiate this challenge, that's why we did all those custom duels, guys, is because now we meet the requirements for the ranking challenge. So see, we're one lieutenant, and we is one lieutenant. So that means we're in equal rank, and we're allowed to duel them. Now, I'm not actually going to do the duel in this episode, but just know that's how the ranking challenge that I'm doing. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. But the ranking challenge that I'm doing works that way, to where, okay, if you're not an equal rank to the opponent, like he's one lieutenant, we're one lieutenant, 
but since we were second lieutenant to start the game, due to the rules of my own challenge, we were unable to fight it. And that's just the way it is, so, yep. Um, with that, guys, I'm probably just going to show, like, one or two battles here on display, just to kill some time. But basically, this episode's over, and, uh... I'm going to let this episode continue as long as the cell phone allows me to, basically. But yeah, after that, guys, um, we're going to end this episode. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been the, basically, turn count tutorial, as I said. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to drink some more purple. <laughs> yep, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Wagar Hercules, eh? This should be an interesting attack. That's a powerful card. 19? Not bad. Emil! Guillotine! That is a cool attack, bro. It's like Pinsir, man. The thing's like... The Yu-Gi-Oh! Pinsir Pokemon. Man, I love Pinsir. Pinsir is cool. You talk about a cool bug. Like, dude, that thing looks like it could just punch the crap out of you. If it wanted to, man. I mean, how cool is Pinsir, man? Think about it. Think about how cool. What's your favorite Pokemon? Mine's obviously Pinsir. Well, not necessarily favorite, but it's, it's up there. That's... Pinsir is cool. There are a lot of cool Pokemon. But you know what's weird? There's not a lot of cool bug Pokemon. Well, I guess there are there are these days. Like Volcarona. That's a pretty cool bug Pokemon. Not gonna lie. Uh, the Heracross. Always been a cool bug Pokemon. Always will be. Uh, Beedrill. I always thought Beedrill was cool. Um, some people like Butterfree more, you know. But to me, Beedrill has always just seemed deadly, man. Because it's got those three stingers. And not to mention, like, in the anime, right? Ash and his friends are running away. Man, they always come out in swarms, right? And they're always huge. Man, it's weird. Like, I'm scared of wasps, you know, in the current size they are here on Earth. I mean, they're pretty small, and they usually don't really... If you get stung by a wasp, it's really because you're just, like, trying to agitate it on purpose. You know what I mean? They're not really gonna... I mean, you can get stung, but it's really... It's only if you're, like... Okay, let's say you're on your cell phone, right? And you're not paying attention. Yeah, I can see you getting stung by a wasp and you being a little salty about it. But, I mean, is that really the wasp's fault? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think so, man. So, uh, what is this card? Oh. And that guy's was a trap. That's a trap. Yeah, Disposable Trap. I talked about this in one of the first episodes. But it says full range. That means it can activate from anywhere on the field. But it activates automatically against the first enemy attack. Uh, which I don't like. Like I said, I wish it was there was a way for it to be optional. I mean, this game is pretty good as is, but it's not perfect. I've said that before. There are many, 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 many flaws with this game. And uh, we'll go through some of them, you know, just to... Yeah, I knew this had to be a magic card. Like, are you serious? Forest. Wow. I wish I was doing this duel for real. He almost never drops Forest, man. My name is Forest. Forest Gun. People call me Forest Gun. Anyways. Yep, I'm just gonna play this duel until the timer runs out. That's right. Now, this card's probably pretty strong in Forest. So, watch out. Um. Yeah, man, even Black Shark here on water, though, that's pretty good, the stats. So, aren't you going to move Nightless here, move this here, and hopefully he attacks uh, M-E-B-D, or M-E-B-S, Man Eating Black Shark. Is this the only Aqua I have out? Uh, and it boosts other Aquas, right? Yeah. And, oh, I guess I have Night Lizard. Uh, yeah, okay. Drawing a lot less aqua is the school. Defense mode, huh? Transcendence, huh? More like mass suicide. Suicide. 
Alrighty, and we have another card here. Let's play this, and this, and this. Flying Pinion. Bio Plants. Hopefully we draw at Plants. Yeah, I'm just gonna move Night Lizard like to this square. <laughs> I'm too scared to attack with it. It's just, it's so weak, right? Weak Soft Mouse. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of...